I have four buildings here in Dungeness that are very personal to me. I designed all of them. I called it the Patagonia Collection because it's the other side of the world and there is a Dungeness there, named after this Dungeness. We did Coast Guard because we wanted somewhere for ourselves. And we wanted to take our children and go somewhere that really sort of felt different. There was no intention of bringing guests down here, but gradually friends would come and they would all love it. So I thought, okay, let's let other people share the wonderful experiences that, that we've had here and let me talk to guests. private but you've got an awful lot of glass so you get these different sort of framed views from all the windows it's on a beautiful day you just open every single door and that's when it sort of becomes a pavilion and then you can close off the bedroom with this beautiful curtain and be sort of wrapped in fabric and it's, yeah, it's a very calm space And it is, along with Coast Guard and Radar, they are the buildings at the front closest to the sea. Radar was all about the views, the aspect, you know, being cocooned in that place, thinking about if I was going away for an amazing romantic weekend, you know, what would, yeah, it's what would I like, actually. It's like <laughs> something, what, what would I like? And there was two timber sheds on that site, which were owned by Decker, who were testing a new triangulated radar system. They fell into disrepair in the 1980s. So the building is an echo of that form. And then internally, it doesn't reveal itself all straight away. You're always discovering things. I wanted everything to be a delight. So the things you use, you know, the way you open the window, there's a beautiful mirror in the bathroom. You can have the mirror in front of you or you can open it and have a mirror on the back so you can look out to the sea. All these little experiences just add to your enjoyment of the space. When I'm designing, I sit down and think, what's the best response to this building, this interior space? The building was part of the Pluto project pipeline under the ocean to pump diesel fuel through a pipe under the channel. So it was built by the army and then it was temporarily used as a school afterwards, particularly over where the um, fishing boats are. There's quite a lot of steel containers. So we sort of borrowed that language to create this piece on the front. It's a steel that basically rusts and then the rust forms a protective seal on the outside of it. So it goes this beautiful burnished rust colour. It's different because it can sleep up to eight people. I always imagine you can go away and be slightly private in the bedrooms, but the main space is a real coming together space. You know, it's got this great big, nice kitchen with a big dining table. When you're in Dungeness, you are in another world. You can feel like you've completely left your ordinary world behind. And I love that idea of emotionally being in another place. Mm -hmm.